All right, what's up, guys? Pet Man Matt Morrow here. We're going to take a look at an important game here in the uh, Southwestern 4A Conference. You got Porter Ridge traveling over to play Myers Park. And this is a interesting game here. And I think if you're Porter Ridge, you might be getting this team at the right time. Um, Porter Ridge is a team that is playing very good football. Um, they Now, granted, they played... You know, probably the two worst teams in the conference in Independence and, and uh, Garinger. But the thing about it is they dominated those games. And for Porter Ridge to be dominating somebody in the first year of Mike Hurts returning to that school says a lot. And a lot of people did not expect this team to be this competitive this fast. If you're Myers Park, this is a classic trap game scenario. Porter Ridge is a 5-2 and two football team. And Myers Park is 6-1 and one now. And there was a lot of hype going into last week's game against Butler. And, you know, if anything could go wrong, it went wrong. Butler probably played their most complete game of the year. Uh, it was on TV. And I'm sure all their players were hyped up and they played like it. Big game atmosphere. And uh, Myers Park showed that, um, you know, it, it, they just didn't execute. They didn't play well overall. And they lost 53 to nothing. So, if you're looking at this game, Porter Ridge is a team that uh, they're playing very good, fundamentally sound football. Uh, they don't have the game breakers, so to speak, but they do have guys that can make plays and get it done. You look at quarterback Grayson McCall, number 10. You look at Mason Mills, number 5, and running back. And uh, number 4, Jake Horsecamp is a great um secondary player he's one of the top guys in the state in interceptions so they have guys that can definitely make plays i think myers park overall has a depth advantage i think they're a deeper team uh, i think they are a more talented team on the outside you're gonna throw the ball away from where horse camp is they got two threats in elijah bowick and Saeed patrick and of course jack davidson throwing the football so you know, my, if Myers Park can run the football, this is a, a big key for them overall. When they can run the football, they can be very successful on the offensive side. Um, they're going to be able to throw it most of the time, you know, no matter what. Butler just had a, a good overall game plan, and they got personnel that can match up across the field with what Myers Park can do. Uh, I don't think Porter Ridge can play the same way, obviously, as Myers Park. Porter Ridge is going to play a lot of um, softer zone type of coverages. And on the Myers Park O line, we're going to have to be able to hold up and give Davidson uh, time to throw the football. Conversely, defensively, Porter Ridge is going to have to find a way to run the football against a pretty tough run defense for uh, Myers Park. Um, and Porter Ridge is, you know, they love to run the triple option from gun. So Myers Park is going to have to be disciplined. They got the personnel that can do it. If Porter Ridge can find a way to handle the big defensive line and linebackers in the front seven and run the football consistently, then they got a chance had a uh, big upset win on the road. Uh, but, you know, Scott Chadwick is from Union County. Um, he does know these these kids down there. I'm sure he knows Mike Hurts pretty well as he's coming from uh, Independence. And um, they, they, they're they going to have a good game plan. But this is another pretty good game Friday night. If you go, let us know what you see and what you think. Thanks a lot for watching.